Wow. It seems some in the African American community have finally figured out what those of us on the right knew even before Barack Hussein Obama was elected the 44th President of the United States. Johnny C. Taylor Jr., who is president of a nonprofit that supports and represents black students in colleges and universities, has just made a game changing announcement about the Charlotte and Barry Obama and President Donald Trump. Taylor pointed out how Obama would go out and give beautiful speeches about race, which said everything black America wants to hear. He would then pat himself on his egotistical back and go back to the same old, same old while African Americans suffered more hardship than ever under his illegal alien loving presidency. As opposed to President Trump, who comes out, gives a speech in layman's terms, and actually takes action. Taylor is especially pleased with President Trump's first action in aiding the black community. Only two months into his presidency, Trump signed an executive order to provide $25 billion, that's more than six times as much offered by Barry Obama during his presidency, to fund the HBCUs. HBCU or historically black colleges and universities, are colleges and universities which were founded before 1964 throughout the United States. During a time when black students were not permitted to attend school with white students. These institutions were founded to provide black students who wanted to learn a venue to get top-notch education. Once again former President Barack Hussein Obama proved he just can't stack up to President Donald Trump. History is already starting to write the story on Obama and it's not looking so great for him. The whites voted for this charlatan, first-term senator, to prove they weren't racist. The African Americans voted for him because they believed he was one of them. Never bothering to question his name, or the fact he was raised in Kenya. Looks like Obama will go down as one of the biggest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people. And rightly so. Newsmax reports. Obama's failed black legacy Barack Obama's greatest legacy and accomplishment was being elected as the first black president of the United States. For black Americans, it has been downhill ever since, from yes we can to no he didn't. Yes, there was a certain pride in all black Americans that a black man had been elected president of the United States, where hundreds of years earlier blacks suffered through slavery, racism, and not that far back blatant racial discrimination in virtually every segment of society and part of the country some of which continues to this day. Black Americans particularly had high hopes that many of their concerns and issues would be addressed in inferior schools, high unemployment, especially among black youth, violent crime, and gang-terrorized inner cities to name just a few. Black parents could tell their black children, especially boys, see what you can become. White Americans felt and hoped that his election signaled a new post-racial America. For many whites, especially many in the media, his election gave them a thrill up the legs showing that they and the country were not racist. He would bring America, black and white, rich and poor, together. Both were duped. Four years into his presidency, he answered those who felt he could do more for black America, saying in a Black Enterprise magazine interview, that, I am not the president of black America, I am the president of the United States of America. However, he has not hesitated to be president of gay rights and same-sex marriage America, extreme environmentalists and climate change America, open borders America, and protect the dreamers children born to illegal immigrants America. As fellow Newsmax insider Deroy Murdoch wrote in March in National Review, Based on the Obama administration's own latest available statistics by the most basic economic performance metrics with one key exception black Americans are worse off now than when Obama was sworn in on January 20, 2009. Murdoch quoted, as have I, liberal media commentator Tavis Smiley who has said that sadly and it pains me to say this under the last decade, black folk, in the era of Obama, have lost ground in every major category. Blacks apparently share the view that Obama has not done enough for the black community. An August Gallup poll found that a majority of blacks, 52%, believed that Obama had not gone far enough to help them up from 20% during the 2008 campaign and 32% his first year in office. They are not alone. He also ignored the growth of ISIS, the genocide in Aleppo, Chinese expansion in the South China Sea, the Cuban people and dissidents by cozying up to the Castros the people of Israel, and the plight of our veterans. As he departs, keep in mind that Obama is loved and revered by white and black liberals in the mainstream media not because he is black, but because he is a black liberal. 
They share no such love or affection for black conservatives who dare to have different viewpoints on solutions to many of the problems confronting black America. In fact, they have disdain for them just ask South Carolina Republican Senator Tim Scott or Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. Obama is a great role model as a loving and caring husband and father. And, his my brother's keeper mentoring effort is commendable. However, he, the black president, could have done so much more from his bully pulpit to bring attention to the importance of family-related problems facing much of America's black communities. He could and should have addressed the problem of the over 70% black illegitimacy rate and the consequences of having children out of wedlock, tell youth to stay in and do well in school, respect parents, teachers, and those in authority and, urge young black men to take care of and help raise their children. But that was not his soapbox. Remember, he said he was not president of black America. As to a post-racial America forget about it. He used his attorney general Eric Holder and their race-baiting allies to play the race card at every opportunity. Question his motives and you were either a racist or, if black, an Uncle Tom. When it suited his purposes, he used race to show blacks that he felt their pain. Comments such as Trayvon Martin could have been his son, or he knows what it is like to be followed in stores or have women grab their purses when he got on the elevator showed that he empathized with blacks and solidified any wavering support due to his failure to do little else for that community. So, looking back on Obama's eight years, black and white voters have one thing in common they were both bamboozled. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.